Hello everyone and welcome to Pirates of the Caribbean. This is not the movie, which you might have noticed already, but the pirate RPG game made in 2003 by Keller Games and published by Bethesda Softworks, I think. It has really very little to do with the actual Pirates of the Caribbean game, or, you know, franchise, except that it has Kira Knightley voicing cutscene in the beginning, which we will approach later on. And also it features the Black Pearl, and it was originally called Sea Dogs 2, I believe, and uh, changed his name really to coincide with the release of the, the first Pirates Caribbean movie. And here we've come across Malcolm Hatcher, Boat Swain, apparently. And this is basically a tutorial level. You, if you choose the really all right go on then option, then you will go through a bunch of text going through, you know, how to do things and uh, pick up items and so on. But I remember everything just fine, at least I think so. So let's go on into Oxbay, and uh, we delivered a load of chocolate and leather to Oxbay. Now we should sell it to the local trader. If needed, I'll guide you to this store later. Also, our ship took some damage. Okay, so basically we need to go to the store and the tavern and the shipwright to repair. And thankfully, we have a fast travel option, so we can go immediately to the store without having to go through the city. And this game was released, I think, a year or so before Pirates, you know, Sin Meier's Pirates, which is by far a more known game, and for a good reason. This is a bit janky and old, but it has its charm. I played it when I was young, and it just has something that Sin Meier's doesn't. My so let's talk to him. Hello, sir. My humble company. shop is at your service. Thank you. My name is Nathaniel Hawk. Well, I think you would be able to change your name. Anyway. Let's see what you have for sale. I want to sell some cargo. And the cargo is on the ship of Victory. And uh, he said chocolates. So we're going to sell our chocolates. We had 100 chocolates, which earns us a fair bit of coin. And what else did he say that we have? We have. Oh, hold on. It was leather. Yeah, leather. Which does not earn us nearly as much. And we're selling the 25 that we have. And. It even has so you can buy cannonballs, but we have 300 cannonballs, which should be fine. 100 grapes and uh, some nipples, or nipples, <laughs> I don't know how to say. And bombs, which is, I assume, better cannonballs, or does more damage to the hull, I believe. And sailcloth, if you want to repair your sails uh, while you're at sea, you need sailcloth and planks to repair your hull during your sea, which all makes a great de degree of sense, but we're done here, and our quest book is updated. Let's see how, how do I get up this? Not here, apparently. Here it is, quest book. Hire some crew at the tavern, sell chocolate and leather, buy a new spyglass. I shall do all these things and more. But to open, and let's head out on the streets. Unlike Sid Meier's Pirates is set in the actual Caribbean or, you know, a miniaturized version of it, this one is set in some sort of fictional Caribbean setting, which, honestly, I would prefer if they had just kept to the actual Caribbean and they featured the, the island from it. And uh, here we have the cy uh, Saber, not Cyber, which has 10 to 15, piercing 10%, block 10%. Okay, and we want to get a new spyglass, it said. And here is the new spyglass, which is really expensive. And I also can I, I want to get this cutlass, so I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it because I know that it does 14 to 19 damage, which is more than Battle does, and uh, also more than the rapier does. So I'm gonna buy this, thank you, and buy the common spyglass, glass, whatever. And uh, head out into my character. No, that's a character. I should get the skills and everything. Inventory. And equip this. And equip this. So I can now sell the old one. Hello. See what you have. And I want to sell this old saber, which will give us a fine bit of coin back. And uh, as seen before, character, we have abilities to put out. So. Here's a bunch of abilities, some of them require... Okay, I'm gonna give an example. 
this one, for example, requires the previous one, basic defense, in order to unlock it. it's an upgrade, so to speak. And this one needs uh, several different, but I kind of want to become a bit better at being at sea. So, maneuverability is good, speed increase is... I, I like speed increase, so I'm gonna take that. And skills, I can increase my skill here, and... Uh, Melee combat is extremely difficult in this game. At least I found it very difficult. I can't really get a hold of it. But I'm gonna get one sailing. Come on, sailing. And uh, hmm. accuracy is always good. Let's take that. You can get officers in the game that will enhance your stats. The camera is really wonky as well. But we can enter this house and uh, basically steal what they own. Like a real pirate would. Let's see, open. And there's a potion, I believe, yeah, healing potion, and uh, some other thing. We're gonna take it all. Because we're mean pirates. And I think there's only one chest in each house, so there's no point in staying inside here for much longer. Could also be something in this, no? Okay. I think this house is also open. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yes, there we are. And uh, there's a chest. No, this. Oh, oh, there, there we are. And there is some sort of ring. I'm taking it, and then I can sell it to the merchant, maybe. And this house is open as well. Yes, you can get a surprising. I remember one house in the Spanish city that had a really, really good pistol. And the pistol, of course, you basically use it once, because it takes so long to reload. So it's a one-time sort of thing, most of the time. And this house is not open, so let's continue down the road. And this house is open. Just some basic looting. Come on, come on. There we are. And a few potions. Potions will be of use, I think. Assuming that I survive long enough to use it. Speaking of things, I should probably save in some capacity. Save. There we are. I'm gonna look, go, just look in the options. Is there a way to quick save? I don't think it is. There's a really good mod for this game that is called... What is it called again? Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but it increases the content of the game multiple times. My dear captain, do take better care of your vessel. I will try to do that. Great Owen, let's get started on that repair. Yes, let's do that. Repair, and it cost 1,600. Holy. It's not, it's not cheap. And uh, I don't want to find a tavern by myself, so I'm going to teleport to it. And talk to no, the secret to a good spot of grog, a pinch of gunpowder. Sea dogs. Ah. I need some heat. Sea dogs, and I need uh, as many as I can get. Uh, Fifty-seven is our capacity, and we basically have no money left, essentially. And you can find some interesting fellas here. Just, uh, I don't want to play some dice. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to buy you. No, no. This option is what I wanted. And you can find a smuggler, I think he's upstairs, who, if you do contraband, you can get extra amounts of money from it. It's an interesting trading system. Enough, sir. What can you do? Well, people say I'm a good navigator. Hire me for your ship, Captain, and you'll see for yourself. How much do you ask? Holy... Do I have enough money for that? Yeah, uh, uh, whatever, I'm gonna find you some other time. Speaking of the janky camera, no here's pay, the smuggler. No pay. Right, matey? You can't, goodbye. And I think it is a trade book here, yeah, trade book. So, we are on Ox Bay right now. And Ox Bay is importing Sevkov chocolate, silk and leather. So you get, you know, extra money for in the, um, you know, the shopkeeper office sort of thing. For those items, and uh, you get sandal, rum, and tobacco very cheap. And there's certainly some there. And Ilamuele is uh, importing 
No, it is, it's also exporting sound, never mind. So there's some you can, some exporting things and some that are importing things and you can make a nice amount of money that way. Or you can do contraband. So this, uh, so like for example, Ila Muele, or Muele, or however you pronounce it, I'm not very good at Spanish, is exporting ebony for cheap. And if you do contraband, you can earn some serious amount of money. But now there's always a drawback to it. And if you get caught, I remember when I played it a long time ago and I got caught contraband, being a contraband person. Smuggler, yeah, exactly, smuggler is the word. And uh, I had, I think, three Portuguese ship after me that blew me to pieces. So, there's some drawbacks. Let's get back on board our little vessel over there. It's a very small vessel too, compared to what you can get later on. Assuming you have the money for it. And now, yes, the first cutscene. Port Oxbow was a typical Caribbean English colony. Bustling, prosperous, and peaceful. Until a squadron appeared like ghosts from the fog. A squadron under French colours. The French caught the fort's gun crews napping. In less than a half hour, Port Oxbay was in French hands. For anyone that's unsure, that's us who managed to escape. And here is the very rudimentary island map sort of thing. You can scroll out, I think, you know, a bit. So, I've been... No, 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 we... A twister, holy crap. Okay, so we ran into problems immediately. And camera is not willing to cooperate. Anyway, that was Kira Knightley and one of the few reasons why it's called <laughs> Paris Caribbean, I guess. So... Storms give you a bit of XP, but it also damage your ship heavily. And if we happen to run into that twister, we are in for some serious, serious trouble. So, the point of this thing here is uh, basically to hold out as long as possible. And I think I want to go alongside of waves. I'm being pulled here to the to the right, basically. I don't want to do that. Stop. Maybe I should pull up my sails. When can I escape? Please tell me I can escape soon. Because I don't have the money for this. Repairs. And you just have to hold out long enough and try to avoid a twister in this case. There we can go, we can escape. And we will do so immediately. And I mentioned... Was it Redmond, was it? That we were going to? I mentioned uh, Sid Meier's Pirates in the beginning. And Sid Meier's Pirates, when you approach ships like this, you get... A wide range of information you get how many cannons the ship have what type of ship it has what name the ship has even and everything like that here you get nothing like that so you can see all the ships look identical you see what nation they're part of but you could run into i'm just gonna wait for oh no not a storm again okay uh, uh no a storm come on okay so i'm <laughs> i'm not very good at this game and you can run into the best ship in the game without knowing it. And you can engage them in combat and then that's when you realize, based on how, the, how it looks, what type of ship it is. But if you, you can see on the bottom left uh, part of the screen you see the portrait of the ship. The white is the sails and the red is the hull. And we are very damaged already. There's a chance that we might level up from the XP. But two storms in a row before we even reach the first part not very good at it 
mostly this game is a sandbox and not very reliant on the story. But in the beginning I like to go to Redmond and at least talk to the governor. Okay, can we please get out of this? I'm basically dead. Thank you very much. I don't want to go on shore though. <laughs> where, where am I? Okay, okay, I'm going back in. Back to the ship. And uh, sail to Redmond Port. And that's more. Okay, so immediately try to fast travel to the tavern. We have to rest here, essentially. And something's going to happen here at Redmond Port. Which never really happens. If we go into the catacombs, I think you can run into skeletons and stuff. Which is very interesting. But here's the tavern, so let's get inside. And get a room. Hello? Talk. Drink up, laddie! Yeah. Uh, do you have a room that I can use? Five piastres. Ah, uh, whatever. I need to wait for the morning anyway. I think there's a chest in here also, so I'm gonna try to loot that if I can find it. Come on, chesty. There we are. What is... nothing is in the chest, that's just bad luck. That is really bad luck. And here is the door to get out. And there's a smuggler. I don't want to talk to you. You just get me in trouble. And you are... Come on. Here, hello. Who you are? An officer. And what can you do? I'm a good cannoneer. How much do you ask? It's far too much. Yeah. I'll come back for you when I have money. If you're still here. But, um... but now we need to go to the shipyard. Because we need to try to... Your walk was interrupted. Something is going to happen here. No, it is not. Let's get to the shipyard. Okay, let's go to. The last governor. I met got fitted Pull for a down, soldier. I've got to talk to our governor. French soldiers took Oxbay. Can I go now? That's better. Thank you. And let's enter. Oui, monsieur. You wish to speak with me? No, oh, so the French has already been here. Hello, Governor. I serve England. And My you name is Nathaniel Hawk, say. and I'm Captain of the Victory. I'm sorry to report the settlement on, on Oxbay has been attacked. As is it, sir. These were not pirates. These were French ships and French troops. Please tell me everything. How did you manage to slip away? How many ships? How many guns and troops? Where did they come from? Yes. It's terrible. Hmm. So he's basically confiscating my ship. Or commandeering my ship. So I'm gonna offer him to uh, become a privateer. Yes, I'm gonna go into Oxbay and do all of those things. And I level up, so let's do the level up thing. And we get another ability. Which I think we will pick as... Hmm. Storm Helmsman. Considering how many times we've been in storms, maybe that's a good idea. And uh, let's be, put one in leadership and another one in... I'll be late combat. Uh, why not? Why not? Can I go now to the shipyard? Thank you. So that was the thing that was going to happen, I assume. Hello, I shipyard. You, Captain, Great Roger. Can rip Let's the see what your yard has to offer. Yards. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Repair. Oh god, that's far too much compared to what I have. So, I'm a bit in trouble right now. Because I don't have... The money to repair my ship and I have no way of really earning any money either. Maybe if I find someone here who has uh, some form of quest for me. Do you have anyone have work? Fish, a clan. I'm hoping you have a moment to talk. Be sure to hear a lot of interesting rumors. I'd like to know what's going on these days. 
Uh, see some merchant and put him in jail for a small time fight, but... Okay. There's something on my mind. You need some job. Don't you know any rich boy on this island who is afraid to travel alone? One merchant here was searching for right company to travel. You better talk to him. Okay, I'll do that. And there he is. What great timing. Something like that, and I've heard you are looking for a man to guide you and your ship. You're right, I think you're just the man I'm looking for. Would you like to sail with me? Depends on your pay. 4,000 gold coins? To Konsekao or whatever? Yes, perfectly. I'm alright with that. I will be able to repair my ship for that amount. It will be perfect. There's only, I think, maybe 8 islands or 9 islands in total in the game, which is a bit small, but each of them has different... You can walk in, in all this, the cities, there's a city at least one on each island, and you can walk through them and they're all different, which is pretty cool. And... Not yet. There we are. Out to the open sea and time to... Well, map, time to go. And let's find out Kurakao, Kura basically uh, it's Konsekao, something like that. It's gonna avoid old Dauvesen. Hey, no, 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 not another, not another storm. We've been through enough of those already. There's Faladifleur, Dauvesen. Where is Konsekao? Is it beyond here? Or is that Ila Muele? Oh no no no, don't attack me. Don't attack me. I'm friendly. La Ila Muele. Maybe I should go there as well. I could maybe pick up something from it. Is there a map? Oh no 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 no, pirates. Or French ship. French. And there's plenty of French ship as well. Where is, where are they? See, it's dark. It's hard to see. And I don't know how strong they are. There you are. Oh, crap. Fire! You're not hitting anything. Reload. Faster. Come on, come on, come on. Reload. Damn French. I think I'm hitting anything. It's hard to see though. This could be a very early end to my ship and my career as a pirate. Fire! Fire! Can you hit anything? If I'm... When, whenever... I can add uh, this. I don't even know. No matter how I turn my ship, it seems like it wants to fire as far away from the enemy ship as possible. And now they're firing towards me, and they're hitting as well. And I'm... I think there's only one way to do this, and it's try, It's time to try to board it. It's gonna be dangerous, it's gonna be reckless, but hey. It's not like they have any way, other way of doing it. I'm gonna rely on the compass over there to know where I'm gonna go. The ship is straight ahead. Oh right, they have ship uh, cannons in front as well. I forgot that. It's okay, it's okay, we can do this. It's going too slow though, I wish I could speed that up. I know you can in the mod that I mentioned before. But this is not the mod, needless to say. Oh, I'm catching up on them. Oh. Oh no. Direct hit. What happened? No, I sank. Catastrophe has hit. My ship is sinking. I, I accidentally hit the other ship and sank. Ah, oh, that's terrible. And now I'm on the bottom of the sea.